All right, let's go through a solution together. Now, one thing that's kind of awkward is when you try to write out the entire select statement before you put any group by stuff together, because the group by logic is really going to explain the different columns you have available to select. So I'm going to put in the select keyword, but I'm going to put out my from and my group by first. I'll then come back to select after that and fill it in. So my source of information or the source of rows here will be the books table. I definitely then want to do a group by on there to group by the author ID. So that should give us a new imaginary table where we have different buckets for the author with ID 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to group by author ID like so. Now we can go back to select and start putting some logic inside there. First off, the directions say that we had to print out the author's ID. So I'm going to select author ID. And then we want to count the number of rows associated with this user in each of these grouped buckets. So very similar to what we saw just a moment ago in all those examples, we'll put in a count star. All right, so let's check our solution. See how we're doing. Yep, looks like it worked out just fine. All right, well, this was a simple example, but let's take a pause right here and go through a more challenging one in just a moment.